Today, I react to Valorant's most viral tech. Are these actually viable or just gimmicks? Also, clip number 17 should be bannable. All right, we got Mr. Tens on the Yoru. Last player standing. I'm back. Spike planted. 1v4. Critical shot. Fake teleport. Cutting through. Don't think anybody heard that fake TP. And, <laughs> and Sky just completely whipped on the clone. Time to jump. What the f what was that? Is that the tech TPing into the uh, the yellow clone? Eh, I mean, I'm gonna say gimmick, bro. It, it's cool. I mean, it can work, but nobody was even looking at him. Maybe it could be viable if they're actually looking at the clone. I don't know, man. I, I feel like it's a little too obvious. I'm gonna say gimmick on that one. Are you tired of being in the same elo every act? You hop on Valorant, win a few, lose a few, and then hop off with no improvement. That's because you need Valorant Tracker. They have a great stats overview tab where you can check your headshot percentage, agent win rates, map win rates, and more to see where you need to improve. Another great tool is their live match info tab that gives you details on on the entire lobby. But my personal favorite feature, and I talk about this a lot, is their match history tab. I check it every day I play and review exactly when I was playing bad to see how I can turn it around. Stop wasting your time and download Valorant Tracker with the link in the description below. I already know you cannot place a TP on a box above you without having the clone under you first. That's right, yep. But what if I told you there was a way to get on top of a box like this? How the hell the do you get a updraft. TP up here? Exter, I thought you had to be seeing the top of the box when you did the normal clone boost. You do have to see the top of the box normally, but with this new method that I did not discover, that I found out via esoteric, is you place the, the clone on top of the box you want to get on. You know what's actually funny? Some like insider Yoru main information. But I think Ty is actually the, the one who originally discovered this. And we were going to let Ty post it first because he's the one who discovered it. But I think Exter ac accidentally like leaked it with this TikTok by accident. But he might not have, not have known that we were going to let Ty post it first. But either way. At the peak of your jump, you can yep. right click a TP on top of Super a Super viable. Surface. Not a gimmick at all. I've made two videos on the Yoru updraft and it's it just shows how well of a technique it is. If you don't have any other players on your team that can get up to high places like that, it is disgusting off angles. They'll never expect it. Really good. Not a gimmick at all. And honestly, it, it pisses a lot of people off too. If you dash with jets, you go pretty far. But did you know that if you jump first and then dash, you go even further? Every centimeter counts, I guess. When you updraft, really? don't just use your updraft. You won't go very high. Also, don't jump and then do your updraft. You will go to the same height. Instead, use your updraft and jump at the same time and you will go way higher. If you are running with your knife and you switch to Bro. your gun, it takes about a second before you can shoot. But if you hold your knife in your hand, you smoke and then you switch to your gun, it takes less seconds. How have I been playing this so game for three years and I had no idea you could do that? You see an enemy, smoke first, it will even get you some cover and easy kills. Probably because I'm not a disgusting fucking jet main. But no, nah, I, I think that's pretty viable. I think you probably have to be a little bit higher elo to make this work, but I think it's viable. New York plus gecko combo is insane. The Yekko combo. You wanna do it? Wanna do it? Dude, don't kill him, don't kill him. Gecko ult and Yoru ult. I wonder who posted this this short right here. Rob? Oh, wait, is that like the super handsome Yoru man? Nope. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that one pisses a lot of people off. Valorant move? Definitely viable. Second of all, that one makes a lot of people angry. Just like staring them in the eyes and knifing them when there's nothing they can do. You wanna piss people off? That's a good combo right there, the Yekko combo. Shroud. His movement in Valorant is actually almost perfect. As soon as you see an enemy, you just full stop. And yeah, you just shut him once like this. It's, it's a lot harder to apply. More than anything. And his aim is f crazy too. But his movement with his aim, it's like actually like perfect for Valorant. Oh my I don't know how to explain it. Oh, dude, yo. Dude, this guy, when he was screaming, rowdy, like this, he was rowdy. actually shitting on people. It was insane. Boy, he's insane. One. Nice. Holy. I'm it telling you, yeah. Works. Definitely it viable. It works. Definitely it viable. It actually does. It does work. Yeah, he's right. It's harder to apply in game, but it definitely works. Oh my god, the lineup's disgusting. Bro, what? I've never seen a gecko do this ever. Dude, where are the it's where are the gecko the mains in here. my game? This guy gets pushed out of gems. I don't get gecko mains like this. Right That's actually insane. Perfect. 
Yeah, that, that's, that's literally perfect. That's not a gimmick at all. Nismo, just to be clear. That's very viable. Nismo, or Nismo sounds way funnier. The hardest funnier. part about that is actually finding a Gecko main or convincing your Gecko and your team to do it correctly. <laughs> he used leaking all the spam tech, bro. My god. Is that, is that actually uh, tech? Right, he's doing the other one. He's oh, doing I've the seen other this one. one. Oh my god, he Wait, just leaked yeah, all the wall things. He's giving away the... Wait, why Yo. is he doing this for free? Nobody ever Yo. does this, to be honest. I guess he's like, like, he's like, he's like they do might as well give it to someone else. But nobody ever, nobody this ever does that. This fake tech, though. Definitely viable. Bro, not gonna lie, I thought that was Blake for a second. Asuna. Yeah, this eye is sick, bro. Dude, there's some crazy fade eyes, man. Dude, that, that honestly, there's some fade lineups that can, like, really piss some people off, too. Definitely, definitely viable. Oh my god. What? Okay, nah. This is some how to noodle shit, bro. This is some how to noodle shit. Like, up drafting out of the map and stuff. <laughs> bro, like, the very last second, she just, like, looks up at her. It's viable, but I'm pretty sure it's patched out. Those, like, updraft spots get patched out, like, so quickly. So, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna say gimmick. Yo, so did you intentionally crouch under Gecko's like flash? I've never seen him do that. He yeah, it kind like, of it shot out the thing, and then you yeah. were it and you crouched, and then it missed. Oh, I thought it hit the box. I didn't know you could do that either. I thought you could like block the projectile from hitting you, but I didn't know you could like. <laughs> the average Valorant. Okay, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, cause I'm looking back at this clip right. I'm gonna show look at this. I'll pause exactly at the right moment. What is that? What do you mean? Yeah, that's just Sky plot armor, bro. That's the buff that they don't talk about with Sky. Bullets just miss her. Wait, is this from me again? Yours truly? <clears throat> oh my god. That only got, got juked. I, I forgot about this clip, honestly. Let's go. No. Yo, that Omen, dude, that Omen got bodied. Honestly, both those past two clips, this is viable for sure. Very viable post-plant play. This one's not really a tech. I'm going to say gimmick, I guess, because it's not really like tech or anything. It's kind of unlucky. Definitely rage-inducing, though. I'm going to say gimmick on this one because it's like, I don't think you can intentionally pull it off in-game, at least to my knowledge, especially with the new Gekka buffs. I don't, I don't know if it's... I'm going to say gimmick. I don't think it's viable. Yeah, definitely viable. Especially if you're uh, Yoru Go, like Robert Rayhart. <coughs> Are you sure about that? Never mind. The, dude, this is my new favorite play. Yeah, dude, the clone into the ISO ult. Knifing's a little risky. Knifing's a little risky. Because you never know if he has shield or not. But. <laughs> Damn, definitely, so definitely much viable. util. Holy f. Still have time, though. With Angel set up ready oh, 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 oh. Oh. What the f How the f kills coming through for Fnatic. There's still another Bro, I feel like Mystic being turned actually the them up there. I need. Oh my god, I need. Satchel! Oh, oh, satchel! Wait, how have I never seen this? Bro, the satchel is. No, that's viable. Oh my god. That's viable, bro. Raises actually do that in my games too. That's super viable. The raise satchels to like stall the post plane are are so sick, dude. It'll definitely piss you off too. That's like so tilting. What? Oh my god, wait. The assassin ISO wall. Somebody make a vid on it really fit really fast. Huh? Wait, he hidden it. Like, how does that work? Can you Wait. Me? You, know me? <laughs> you just saw it, did you? But, like, why? Wait, that's sick. Yo, Silva, watch this. Move. Dude, boy. I've been waiting for somebody to have some, like, unique ISO tech. This is sick, middle. bro. Making cover. Bro, you had the. Oh my god. Dude, that's sick. I want to try that in game so bad. Bro. That's sick, dude. That's super viable. That that's not a gimmick at all. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. Yeah, this wall is insane, bro. Dude, like <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I mean viable, but like stage walls are they're gimmicky. Oh, what the is this double satchel? I think the stage wall is it's viable, I guess. It's like a gimmick, but like 
I guess if you have somebody to boost you. Wait, this this race is insane. Who is this? Wait, he's disgusting. Let him cook. How does Jinxie say it? Let him cook. I told you to let me cook. Holy sh! Bro, who is this guy? He's insane. No, I don't mean that like disrespectful way. Like just Jane, like I've never seen his uh, his vids before. He's crazy. Bro, is that Flight's little brother or some shit? This guy is nuts. I guess viable if you're that good at race. Oh my god. Dude, the goat of Rays flights himself. The goat of Rays. Dude, you can't even see him, man. Th this is definitely viable. This is def Dude, he literally created double satcheling. One of the most well known techs in the game. I think also Flights was like the first person to kind of like be known for one tricking somebody. Flights the goat. Main so I fake cloned on him three times in a row. Yours truly, the triple fake <laughs> Yoru clone. I can't believe this worked, dude. <laughs> he just accepted it. I remember that play. I mean, it's kind of gimmicky. I think that's a gimmick. I mean, the fake clone's viable, but when you do it three times, like he just gave up. That's a gimmick. Bro, this is. This is not even fair. I don't know how this is still in the game, bro. Let's nerf every Yoru animation cancel, but let's Cypher see the entire enemy team before the round starts. Yeah, why not, bro? Why not? I see them too. It's air, it's air, it's air. I think it's, I think this is like, isn't this bannable? I don't know if it's bannable or not. It's so tilting though. Uh, I'm not even playing the game and that pissed me off. Not gonna lie. I'll say viable, I guess, but it's, it's, it's a glitch. Like, oh my God. World's this best fake clone. Whoa! This is it. That bullet, bro. Oh my god. Let's go. See, nowadays people are smart, bro. They'll just shoot it anyways. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Nice, bro. Insane, dude. Insane. Viable for sure. Especially if you can like get them to whip on you like that. Have you ever seen a cypher do this? I don't watch cypher gameplay, so I probably haven't. Oh, no, I have seen this, actually. I think I've seen it. Okay. Yes, this should do. Jesus, bro. I mean, it, it's like, it's big brain, but... How many steps did he have to count there? Like, 15? Kind of a lot of work. Holy sh**, dude. Yeah. I've seen a couple of shorts of him doing this. So smart, man. But it, it it seems a little obvious though with like, such a bad cage. Oh my gosh, the ace too. Holy shit, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it takes a long time to learn, but I think it's a viable strategy. And honestly, out of all the clips we just watched, it's probably one of the most tilting ones too. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next and follow on Twitch to watch me live. Link in the description.